vlog. Uh, this week we are headed to the south side of Melbourne. Uh, Dan's just currently driving at the Ooh. moment, <laughs> so you can't really do much. Um, I'm a little bit sick, so I'm sorry if I sound really stuffy or anything. Um, but yeah, we're, he we're headed to the south side of Melbourne, so looking at going to possibly around the Elwood area, uh, just south of St Kilda. Um, we don't really get along to this area very often because we're on the other side, so it's sort of difficult to get down to the south side Turn sometimes. Left onto Oak Street. That's just our directions. And we're really hoping to, to have a nice afternoon down there. We've bought some sandwiches along that Dan kindly made. I did. See, this is how you budget. So instead of buying lunch like Macca's or even or going to the shops, cafes, restaurants, take your own lunch with you, even if it is just a boring old jam sandwich, which is what we have, it'll save you money in the long run. Yeah. So we've got a couple of sandwiches there that Dan's made. And we've also brought along some leftover chocolate biscuits from the last time we went down to uh, Port Arlington last week. So we've kind of got a couple of leftover things. Um, I think we might have some leftover cheese as well. So we might have to just pop into Coles or Woolies or something and buy um, some biscuits, crackers, something else to go with it. But yeah, for now, um, I think we might just, I don't know, if we treat ourselves, it'll just be to a coffee. It's the usual thing for us. If we if we do go out, we might just get a yeah, coffee. Yeah, we usually only buy like one coffee a week. So we'll make instant coffee during the week. And then on the weekend, we might have one coffee, like a $3 coffee. Yeah. I mean, like, sometimes it's a little bit different for me at work. Sometimes I'll have like the 7-Eleven $1 coffees, which... Very, very tempting. Um, but yeah, usually I try and stick to instant coffee because, you know, if you get a huge jar of that, then you're pretty much sweet for like a month. Um, but yeah, so now we're headed down. It's like kind of cloudy outside at the moment. Turn right um, on Church Street. But it is meant to be mostly sunny today, so I'm hoping it's going to clear up by the end of the afternoon. But we do have our camera gear here, so hopefully it's a really nice, nice afternoon in Elwood or wherever we end up going around that area. We'll let you guys know. Speaking of 7-Eleven coffees, we went and bought a couple at 7-Eleven just recently uh, because we really needed to go to the toilet and we couldn't really help ourselves because the machine was right there and they're a dollar. So uh, I gotta say for a dollar, they're pretty good quality. Like I actually don't think I've ever had a really, really horrible one. I know everyone, everyone's coffee tastes are different, but like even Dan, like what do you think of them? I love one dollar coffees from 7-Eleven, they're the best. <laughs> exactly. They're like, for a dollar, like, awesome. But anyway, we're still on our way. Um, we've had to take a few wrong turns. We haven't had to, we've just accidentally taken a few wrong turns, Turn so. Left onto Pickle Street. Hopefully we'll be there soon. when I was at 7-Eleven because I feel like I need some vitamin C today and I'm feeling a little bit under the weather. I haven't had a lot of vegetables lately, or fruit for that matter, so, which is definitely my fault, but we are currently on our way to the we beach. Don't <laughs> I don't actually know what beach this is. We were just is. kind of driving through Elwood and yeah. we found this road and it leads to like the waterfront and it looked really cool. It so we thought really we'd nice. stop. We could see the city from where it was, so yeah. Here we are. We've kind of got a place now we can eat our lunch and this area is so beautiful. Oh my god, the houses are huge and there's a lot of like deciduous trees around here. So they've sort of lost their leaves and the colour of the leaves has changed. So it makes the streets look really, really pretty at this time of the year. Anyways, we'll show you guys the view in a minute because it's really, really nice. <laughs> from last 
last week when we were in Port Arlington. That is right on the other side there. So all the way down the other end is where we were the other day. It's a little bit clearer today so you can kind of see across the bay. And then as we move this way, this is where the city is. How cool is that? Maybe we should do like a what's in our cooler bag slash esky. We've got a sandwich, um, chocolate biscuits, half a packet of chips that we still haven't finished from, I don't know, a couple of days ago. Uh, we've got some orange juice that I purchased and more sandwiches. So nothing too exciting today, but... Saving money. Saving money. Dan's currently eating his sorrows away with chips because he wants a new Sony camera. He's wanted one for a really long time. And every time we go out to like photograph, he always gets all angry because his, his camera's like, it's kind of falling apart at the moment. So he gets all depressed and just dreams of having his new Sony. One day. One day, hopefully soon. a dog friendly beach a little bit further south past Elwood and now I'm depressed because we don't have a dog <laughs> and there's people here with their dogs and it's really sad. Um, for those of you who don't know, my life goal is to eventually get a dog or two. Um, I've never really been allowed a dog so I think just like all the <laughs> like all of the desire for one has kind of built up over the years and I've just kind of like gotten to the point where like it's all I want in life is a dog. Um, so yeah, like the thing is though with the position that Dan and I are in, of course like being in an apartment doesn't really allow for it anyway, um, sometimes with rental properties, but the fact is is that we're looking at doing a lot more traveling and to get a dog right now probably wouldn't be the best idea and I would hate to get one and then essentially abandon it or just not be able to look after it as much as I would like and I feel like getting a dog is a responsibility and if I was to get one it would have to be when I'm in a position where I'm really able to do it and to be able to look after it 100% so it's a bit sad but I'm just gonna wait because I will get one one day right Dan yes yes one day. you heard it really cool for photos that didn't wouldn't have been here before but if you look at the city it's just like perfect view yeah and it is I isn't it come back here just to take some really cool long exposure landscape shots yeah keep an eye for that yeah it's a pretty cool area actually it's a good place to come back to and coming along Albert Park slash Port Melbourne kind of way. It's really beautiful along here, lots of expensive looking houses again. 
Thank you so much for watching everyone. We hope you enjoyed the video. We had fun showing you Elwood and the city and Brighton, wherever we were down <laughs> south of the city. We'll try to include a map this time. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, so we had a really nice afternoon. We just took a bit of photos. Um, we probably will go somewhere a little bit more for like the day next week because um, the only reason we didn't today is because I wasn't feeling great. So we were like, let's just go for an afternoon out and enjoy that. So yeah, we had a good afternoon and thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Make sure you comment below and subscribe to our channel for future videos. Bye! Bye.